NBL TV. See it live. Every match of the season, all the action as it happens. Full match replays and highlights when and where you want. On your PC, iPad, iPhone. With monthly and yearly packages, we have a subscription to suit you. NBL TV. See it live. Hello everyone and welcome to It Goes Off. It's NBL pre-game time and my usual co-partner, Grantley Bernard, he's away on assignment. So I've got NBL superstar Gary Irvin, former league MVP, to join me to have a look at all the games in round six which are coming up. And it all starts up on Friday night, Gary, where the Melbourne Tigers take on the Adelaide 36ers. The Melbourne Tigers coming off a win against your mob and they are currently 1-4. and four. The Adelaide 36ers are 3-2. and two. Gary, who's your tip for this one? I believe I'm going to go with the Tigers um, after coming off a big win versus versus the, the Crocs, my team. And they just come, they came out with a lot of confidence, and I think that can carry on a, a, a long way for a team that's getting their first win. So I believe that's going to be my upset pick. I'm going to go for the Melbourne Tigers as well. I think you're spot on. A lot of momentum going their way after a big win uh, thanks to a confidence booster against the Townsville Crocs. Also on Friday night, the Sydney Kings, they take on the Wollongong Hawks. That'll be live across the nation on one. Tip-off is at 9.30 on television. Sydney, they had back-to-back -back losses in round five. They are three and four. Wollongong Hawks, the surprise package of the competition this season. Your old mob, they're five and oh. Who do you like in this one? I'm going with the Hawks on a close game. Hmm. I say around four points. Right. And uh, it's, it's going to be a great game. It's a rivalry, so you can really just throw out all the records for sure. And it's going to be tough winning this in, in Sydney, but they've been doing a great job on the road as well. Hmm. Well, I think the Sydney Kings, I'm picking an upset. I think most people will be with you, Gary, but I'm going to pick an upset, the Sydney Kings at home. And also on Friday, the Townsville Crocs, the 0-7 Townsville Crocs, looking for that first win. And it's a home game, and it's going to be a very tough assignment against the defending champions, New Zealand Breakers. Pretty sure you're going to uh, think the Crocs are going to get over the line. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I mean, uh, you, you look at it, uh, we went down there in my first road game, and we played them well. Uh, it was a tough one. We lost in the last second shot, and I just think we match up well with them. I mean, they're a great team, two-time two defending champions, but... We just need this mm. win. I mean, we need to do it for our fans. I mean, we need to do it for our organization. I mean, we need to do it because we can be a, a really good team. Mm. We just got to get over that hump. Now, you've got some great pieces there, but uh, I'm sorry to say <laughs> against the New Zealand Breakers, who I don't think have been playing their best basketball, but just playing enough to get the wins. And uh, I think the New Zealand Breakers might be another week before you get a, a win for the Townsville Crocs. On Saturday night, it's the Cairns Taipans. They take on the New Zealand Breakers, and it's going to be that backup game that the Breakers have to deal with. The Taipans, they look pretty good against you guys in the overtime win in round five. They are three and three. The New Zealand Breakers are currently four and one. Who do you see in this one? Hmm. Tough one, but <laughs> I believe I'll go with the Breakers in this one. Yep. Uh, have a lot of depth, a lot of experience, and um, Taipans are a great team. Uh, they play well. It's actually a confidence booster coming on the road um, in the Reptile Rumble and, and, and getting a win versus us. But uh, I just believe that the Breakers is going to uh, overcome. Well, it shows, I guess, how even the competition is because I'm actually going to go against you. I think in this one here, the Cairns Taipans at home, big emotional win over their, uh, their rivals, the, the Crocs, last weekend. And I think they're going to continue on. And lastly, Sunday, the game on Channel 10 nationally, 2 p.m., tip-off time it's the Adelaide 36ers against the Perth Wildcats. Oh, that's another one. It's a great competition and uh, this game I believe the Perth Wildcats I mean they have a great coach and they're coming off a tough loss up in Willagong and they're gonna try to do their best to bounce back and he does a great job of getting these guys prepared after a loss so uh, I believe Perth Wildcats are gonna win this one. Whew, I tell you what, we haven't agreed too much this uh, week, Gary, but I'm going to go for the Adelaide 36ers. I think the Adelaide 36ers at home just starting to find their mojo. Good week, win last week 
against the Sydney Kings, so I'm going to go with the 36ers. Let's take a look at some of the statistical leaders uh, in the Ironet NBL. And in scoring, it's Ben Madgen. What a season he's having. He's averaging 20.4 points uh, per game. Adrice Delion, as you mentioned, is having a very good season at 17 points a game. Seth Scott, 16.8, along with Cam Trigar. In the rebounds, Seth Scott. What a pickup he's been. I can't believe that Gary Irvin, I think early on in the week, you didn't even have him in your All-Star 5, your top 5. He's <laughs> What a season he's having, Gary. At, uh, leading the league in with rebounds, 8.6. A man you did have in your top 5 was Mika Vakona. He's at 8. And your teammate, uh, Jacob Holmes, he's uh, third on the rebounding table with 7.8. And just quickly, Gary... Jacob Holmes, he's he's not a great big man. He's not a tremendous athlete, but what a knack he has for getting the ball uh, on the boards. Definitely, he does a, a great job of uh, of reading where to, where it's going to bounce off, and does a great job of of boxing out his opponent uh, and, and and just going to get that rebound. Like you say, he has a knack for the basketball and does a great job. And uh, lastly, assists, and it's Cedric Jackson. He's got uh, averaging. 6.4. Kevin Braswell, he's at 5.2. And my man here, Gary Irvin, in third place with 4.7, dishing out some nice dimes. So uh, they're, they're your statistical leaders. Now, don't forget to check out all the scores, stats, news, and information. Go to nbl.com.au. In fact, I'm pretty sure you're probably here right now watching this show, so you know where that is. And to follow all the action on the TV, it's, it's on 1 and Channel 10 and NBL TV. What a product this is, and Gary Irvin's going to have a subscription to NBL TV, we hope, by the end of this week. And you can follow all the NBL players on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Andrew Gaze 10, and you are... G underscore Irvin 3. G underscore Irvin 3. We need to say thanks to our sponsors, and it all starts with the naming rights sponsor of the NBL. Arnett, Connect Better. Ooh. 10, Channel 10. Beautiful job. N1. Spalding, Anfa, Anfa, and Virgin Australia. Brilliantly done by a superstar of the NBL, Gary Irvin. Make sure you get out there and support your team, and we look forward to catching up with you next week on the number one podcast. It goes off. He went a little bit early, but that's what it's called, and it goes off.